Take your seats for the moon. Tickets a little over 48 million pounds each. 145 million pounds, that's the cost of Apollo 11, climax of the greatest adventure of all time. Shielded behind glass from possible infection, Neil Armstrong, the first man scheduled to step onto the moon, with Buzz Aldrin and Mike Collins, command pilot. The Apollo preparations have been the most comprehensive of any one enterprise in the history of man. The moon's gravity is only one-sixth as strong as on Earth. This has been simulated by a condition of semi-weightlessness. If they fall with those bulky life support units on their backs, they get stuck there like tortoises. They've had to practice the art of getting up again. During their two hours, 40 minutes on the moon, Aldrin and Armstrong will collect samples of the surface. They'll also install various recording devices and leave a plaque to commemorate the achievement. But nothing is more important to scientists than that package of samples from the moon. Nine days after the first blast off from Kennedy Space Center, the command module was splashed down in the Pacific. Even that is simulated in advance. To avoid any possible pollution by lunar bugs, the astronauts will wear special decontamination clothing. They'll travel in a mobile quarantine unit all the way to the space center at Houston. But whatever secrets the moon's surface may disclose, the most dramatic moment of Apollo 11 will be that first step upon its surface by a man.